Well, hello and welcome to Flight Sim Simon, part of the Flight Sim Today Network. Today, we're reviewing Nottedden Airport, E-N-N-O, in the beautiful hills of Norway. And you're in for an absolute treat. Now, the price of this is $17.99 if you're in Australia, £9.84, $10.83 in Europe, and US dollars $12.84. Absolutely beautiful airport. This, this for me, was probably been my most favourite one to review so far. So without further ado, let's jump in and see how we install it. Now, like with all Orbex products, we use Orbex Central, and it's a simple matter of selecting on the airport once you've purchased it and clicking install. I again install into my main library, and then we just leave it to, to do its thing. So let's jump into the sim and see what it looks like. Hey Rob, how you doing? I'm alright, Simon and you? I'm not too bad. So where are we today, mate? Uh, well, I pronounce it right, we are in Nottingham, Nottingham. In Norway. Is that near Nottingham? Uh, well, it's, they wish. Looking at the scenery. Well, looking at the scenery, I don't think they're going to be on tier 3 for a lockdown either, do you? No, not a chance. This looks beautiful. Really does. does. Oh, there's a boat. I like the boats down there. Ooh. Are you being the pilot on this one? <laughs> oh, God. Okay. <laughs> right, Here let's have a go. look at what we got then, sir. Let's have a look at the airport. This is beautiful. I really do like this. It does look really nice. I will say, are those aircraft, they look flat. Mm. Are they flat aircraft or are they not? They're not. Flat. They're not. They're, they're not. not. But one is to the right. Look to the right. Pan to the right a bit. Oh, they're not. Okay, they looked okay. flat for a second. But I'm guessing these are all static aircraft that they like to pop in and. Back to my point, my original yeah. point. Of, um, and if you've ever seen any of my streams previously, I have a whinge about Orbix a little bit because if you're on Vatsim, where do you park? If you exactly. Virtually every stand at this beautiful model airport. Is taken. Even the hangar's taken. Should we like, look inside this one? I I always have a massive gripe about the the uh, static aircraft. It should be an option to to turn them on and off. It can't be that difficult. They do it on. You know, P3D had the option um, where you could turn them on and off. Why can't you turn these on and off and, and just clear them if you wish? Well, I don't mind the ones at the side. No, it's I just agree. the ones on the apron. No, I agree. I totally agree. Some good news: the cars are parked properly. Definitely, that's one another gripe of mine is when you get that mishmash of car crashes, they don't look too bad. Um, they don't look like they can part very well, but they don't, they don't look too bad. <laughs> it looks like LD up there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You haven't uh, seen my parking. I just, um, want, I just wonder if these businesses are actually, the, the brands real. of these businesses are real, actually. That would be interesting to find out one day. Yeah. This does look well, really it, nice, doesn't it? Definitely, so, definitely. Let's have a tour down the runway. Let's have a quick look. Or oh, something's catching my my eye here, Rob. What's this? What's going on here? I don't know if that is real or not, because the, it's just too sharp. Yeah. You know, you've got that that different coloured texture, and is that is that legit? Is that how it looks in real life? Some markings here that seem to be um, from the satellite yeah. imagery. Again, another another gripe of mine. Yeah. You know, they if you go look at this, is if they've given you satellite imagery, 
they've given you the foundation to create the scenery so why can't you match it yeah I, I would agree on that but actually as I come down um, I, I can't it's not too yeah much. exactly it's, it's, it's not about I like this well, there's the a lake? road or the road the oh, road right let's have a quick look we're gonna pan back around and have a look at this road right, can I ask a question fire away if I'm an aircraft are those barriers? Gonna drop or not? Do they drop? We'll see. We will see. Could be something what we should be doing is taking an aircraft and finding We out. We can do that and we can find out. I think we should. Okay. Before we uh, have a look at the weather options, let's have a quick look around the local area as well. I think the hills, the mesh is beautiful. The actual tree plantation and height and coloration is outstanding. The water depictions and the way the, the, the water trails down um, in terms of the river and the way it cuts through the landscape is amazing. And they've modelled this as well. Yeah, they So have. this is not, they, so Orbex have actually modelled the surrounding area in, um, including the town which we'll get to uh, in a second. One thing I will uh, just check out is if you just go back into the airfield um, what's in the hangars and go into the hangars shall we have a look yeah because there's two there's a shed further up the runway but these hangars here that are open right I'm just driving the joystick here so just bear with me <laughs> luckily I can fly an airplane a little bit better than the, I can the joystick there we go oh there's quite a few bits and bobs stuffed inside there is stuff in there oh. and they're modelled inside look at that they've modelled it all inside oh I like yeah. that I do like that. That's beautiful. Yeah. There's another one as well, isn't there? Further over to the. There's a couple. Should right. We, should we go into the, there's one here. Look. What's this one here? Yet? I need to slow down my cursor a bit. I'm, I'm shooting about a little bit, but let's have a look. Oh. Oh. Hey, look. It'll be bit. interesting to it's see. Engine on the disc. It'll be interesting to see as well at night, um, if this is all lit up. Well, should that we is find pretty out? cool. Shall we find out? Yeah, go ahead. Okay then, sir. It's now night time. Let's have a. That was look. quick. No, it was. I think we had a beer and fell asleep. Yeah. Uh, always good when we look at nighttime scenery to move the cursor around because it sometimes highlights things that you can't see. And then let's have a look. Oh, so, yeah, the one thing I'm seeing already is is the elevation issues. What's going on the here? The night lighting. What's going on here? Hello. We've got UFOs. We got UFOs. Hello. Yeah. They're the night. So that there, those orbs are basically the the night lamps, as they were. So you see them dotted around yeah. um, the scenery. Uh, usually at ground level, these should not be up here. So there's some kind of issue that Orbex may not be aware of. Yeah. Well, I'm sure you know they because will be when they watch this. well, that's very true. Because if you look, it's a following the road. It's almost like those lights, that crossing of the runway there is lit. And look, down by the, um, actually they may not be, that's right, but they, that. Yeah, it is, it is, it follows the road, it does follow yeah. the road. So they are the lights for the road that are floating too high. Well, that's fine, I'm sure they'll fix it. They patch, one thing about Orbex, you can't knock them, that if they find something, they patch it pretty quick, and it's super easy to fix. All right, let's go back to, uh, oh. Nice looking little private jet there. Oh, look, it's mine. It's yours. <laughs> right, let's go in here. Let's have a look. What we got so that's cool. Mind. That's nice light above the thing. Yeah. Above the and there you go, it's all lit up inside really nicely, too. Yeah, I like the spotlight out the front. That's really nice. And then it's all lit up. What about the one to the left? So we've been in there. So. Let's have a quick the... look from here. Oh, that's not. That's look not. at that one. Why yeah, it's no there, it... there might not be anyone in there. there might oh, with there. there. Go, go, no, go to the right. Go to the right a bit more. They have closed the doors. They have. They've closed the doors. They've gone home. That's pretty cool. They've closed the doors. Wow. That they've is pretty cool. Home. But then they've left one door open and there's no security guard, so I guess what I'm going to go and pinch that aircraft. The one thing I will say that, that does annoy me, and I, I guess well, a lot of times with these kind of smaller airfields and these GA airfields, 
is the taxiways are not lit. They're just not. Yeah. You'd have a, a more of a lit apron, surely. Well, are they in real life? I think we got something we should check. Yeah, and I don't. That, that's the thing, isn't it? To, to, to defend that comment a little bit, they've got lighting everywhere. They've even got it in the sky. What? So, so I'd be surprised. Yeah. <laughs> We've got I mean, I'm gonna. Look. Look. There is one thing. If you Ooh. if you see um, my DC scenery uh, reviews, those blue uh, edge lights that DC scenery put out are unbelievable. Like. The glow they put out is is so nice, and no one else has replicated it. Oh, look at these issues here. Carry on down to the town. Look, the, the lighting issues. Can you see them? Yeah, they're just they're not right. It's elevation issues somewhere. There is definitely some elevation. There's a harbour here which uh, has got a light in the sky as well. And look back at those lights. You can really see the problem, can't you? Yeah, it's going up a, it's a, up a hill that's not actually there. Look, our reviews are independent, so we'll always call them as they are, won't we? Um, my question would be, if you're going to release some software, surely that's pretty obvious. You check it at night time. But then, what would you say, would you land here at night? I mean, that looks that is awesome. That is beautiful. So, sir, I think what needs to happen now is we're going to fall asleep, and we're going to wake up in daytime, but it might not be as such nice weather when we wake up. What do you think the weather's going to be like? I can't say what I was going to say, but it'd be raining over there. It's going to rain. Let's have a look. Good morning, Mr. Rabbit. What have you woken up to? I don't know what's going on here, but look at that sea. I don't fancy kayaking there today, do you? I fancy flying there today. Ah, let's go and have a look at the... Oh, there's a right storm kicking off here, son. Let's go back Let's to the airport look. and see what's going on within the textures. First this thing why is what the grass looks what the grass looks wet. It's flashing off it. The runway is bouncing, which is something I always look for because some scenery is sometimes if not modeled it correctly and it still stays dry. You can see blue lights again. I like to look for the reflections of the aircraft in the rain. Am I seeing them? I've sort of seen them, but I've seen better, if I'm being honest. But that's not, I mean, it's an aircraft though, isn't it? That's not a reflection of the, the scenery well, itself. Well, lower though, actually lower. I might take my comment back. That looks good though. That looks beautiful. That looks good. Go into the hangar. <laughs> You're obsessed with this hangar, son. No, no, because is it raining inside the hangar? That's a really good question. Uh, yes, oh, okay. No. Yeah, but is that an Orbix problem or is that no, a, an No, I think it's a sim. It, it, yeah, it's a sim thing. And I was wondering if they managed to fix it. Every every scenery I've reviewed is always raining in the hangar. And I was just curious if anyone's managed to fix it yet, but obviously not. I wonder if this is a proper King Gear or a dodgy one. Yeah. Uh, if anybody it's gets the same that, one. leave it in the comments. <laughs> it's the same one. <laughs> it's the same one. It's not been resold by three other people, right? Yep, yep. No, no comment on that one. Copyright. Uh... <laughs> Controversial. Yeah. Right, okay. I think we're going to take a breather and we're going to come back and see what the weather's going to do next. Wow, now let's have a look at the winter scenery. Now, these trees look really nice. What do you think, Rob? Yeah, I mean, the snow is sticking to the trees, which I've not really seen that much of. Again, I don't, you know, in terms of the snow it seems, um, but I think it looks really nice effect. The visual, I mean, you know, we're going to know it's Norway. It is going to snow in this region. Um, so to come in here and see like this, it's, it looks stunning. Not sure. The only one thing I will say there, whether it's whether it's the actual scenery or not, is if you pan down a little bit. If you look there now, you've got a big patch of green. Yeah, I see that. Okay. There's that big windsock. Yeah. Lovely. Right. So the next thing we need to do is see what happens in flight. Yep.
So guys, in final summary, I think this is my favourite one so far. Look, it's got its issues. It's still got the static aircraft you can't turn off. Um, they actually complement this one, but but if you're on Batsim, it's going to cause problems. I think the night lighting, we've got problems with some of the lights um, acting like UFOs, but I'm sure Orbix will fix them pretty quickly. All in all, the scenery is absolutely beautiful. And for the price, and if you're in the UK, £9.84 for scenery, you, you know yourself, that's incredibly priced. So, yeah, massive thumbs up from me. Hopefully you liked the review. If you did, please click like. Um, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and turn on the notifications. Thank you ever so much for watching. Really enjoyed making these. Um, hopefully they're adding some value to you and helping you choose whether you want to buy this scenery or not. Until the next time, take care. Bye-bye.